Hello everybody, Robert Rambles here, and welcome to Remnant from the Ashes. I have been looking forward to this game for about three months now, and I'm sure some of you have been looking forward to it even longer than that because it's been in development for quite some time and is highly anticipated. Remnant from the Ashes is going to be an action shooter game with loot, different weapons we can equip, both ranged and melee, and we're going to have a stamina bar mechanic and a roll dodge mechanic that has iframes or invincibility frames if you're not familiar. So the easiest way to think about the game if you're totally not familiar is think of uh, Destiny makes a video game baby with Dark Souls and then at the very surface level you have Remnant from the Ashes but Remnant from the Ashes goes much deeper than that. Uh, it has a very unique post-apocalyptic setting where it seems like the world kind of had a cataclysm or catastrophe that happened sometime in the early 20th century and we are picking up some point later than that and diving into this mysterious world i'm not going to say much more i'm going to go through character creation real fast i have already created a character i've played a little bit uh we are going to do a new game so i've only played for about 20 minutes i've watched some videos this could be useful and I just wanted to make sure that I had the settings tuned in and some kind of idea of what the controls feel like before we dive in here. So most of it I'll be seeing as you're seeing it. Also, it has what's called dynamic world generation, which means besides certain plot related areas, the worlds are not going to be the same. So if we were to play through twice, we would see slightly different environments, uh, different enemies, things like that. Let's go with uh, something like this, maybe. Let's change the eye color. I do like the scars we start with. We can change those down here. Maybe do something like that. This could be... I wonder what this is. What's this doing here? This looks like it could be useful. Hmm. Let's go with two. I like that one. Uh, as you can see, got a lot of different hairstyles. I'll flick through them all real fast so we're gonna go with that as far as the hair colors we can show those off eye color and skin tones And you saw the scars and the voices. Obviously, we could play male or female. I'm going to go with a dude. Let's go ahead and confirm this. I'm going to set this... I don't know how I want to set this. I would love... This is going to be a single player campaign. But I would love at times for people to be able to drop in to my campaign. I'm not sure how the drop in, drop out co-op works. But I know that it is. it can be drop in, drop out. Or friends only up to three players in a party. And the difficulty will scale with the amount of players. I wonder, and I also wonder if this is going to be a setting that we can toggle later on. Maybe I'll just set this to public and see what happens. What's the worst that could happen? We get some randos in our party. That could be a lot of fun, actually. Uh, so yeah, I think that's, I think that's good. Let's get into it, shall we? What can we do when our last hope fails? That you must discover. Our last hope sailed this sea before you in search of an end to the beasts that have hunted us for generations. An end was found. Or so we thought. When the dragon rose into the sky like a phoenix, blazing in flames of agony. But our hero never came home. Only the storm, the beasts, the unshakable dread that something had twisted and turned. The journey will not be easy. 
storm swirls round the dragon's tower like a shroud. The dragon may be dead, but in its ashes, I fear something else has awoken. You will fight for every step. You must reach the tower, learn what became of our warrior, face what lurks within. When our last hope fails, another shall take its place. So long as we have breath. Alright, so very cool way to start us off into the story. From what I gathered, humans have been hunted by beasts of some kind for generations. We sent a hero who slayed a dragon, perhaps. But then, after we thought it was all over, the beast came back. And now they're sending us to find out what happened to the hero and why are there still beasts. The session will be joinable after completing the tutorial. Okay, we'll see how that works. So this is the tutorial section. This may be one of the sections, the story sections of the game that don't randomly generate. That is going to look the same every time, I believe. But once we're in the main areas, those will be dynamically generated. Uh, looks like we ha are about half health if we look down in the lower right there. And we have a mini-map up in the top right, so we can check that out. Alt crouch. Assuming we're going to have to do that right now. And I'm definitely going to be reading any lore bits, watching any and all cutscenes, because I'm very interested in this game, both visually and just the overall aesthetic that it creates. And I want to get into the lore, whatever there is to be had, and learn about what's going on with this world. How uh, we could do, of course, our attacks with left mouse button. I am playing on keyboard and mouse. Uh, since they're telling me this, I am assuming we are going to have to fight something rather immediately. Oh, we could knock right through that, okay. Uh, we have blood wards. Consumables offer temporary aid. They can be found in the world or purchased from merchants. Consumables will automatically be equipped once picked up. If there are no other consumables in the inventory, press 1 to use the equipped consumable. Uh, we could use it now, I guess. Very cool, pulls out the flask and actually drinks it. I like the animation. I'm sure that takes a moment to do in combat. Let's bring the sound down a little bit. If Let me know in the comments uh, how the sound is. If it needs to be adjusted up or down. I, I think this is good though. Oh, we already did that. They're prompting us again, but we're fine. Uh, and we're, that's how we roll, so by rolling we'll be able to dodge enemy attacks. We'll have a moment of invincibility where they won't be able to hit us, basically. It's referred to as iframes, if you're not familiar with the Dark Souls games. I might turn up my mouse sensitivity. I'm going to leave it how it is. Shh. Okay. It's very unsettling noises. And I don't want to turn the audio down too much because, yeah, if you haven't already, this is a game with a lot of ambient sound. So I would suggest uh, setting the mood. So lights down, earbuds in, and volume up. Here they come. Here we go. Let's get our sword out here, shall we? Whoa. Okay. Yeah. All right. At least that guy was not too hard. We are playing on the normal difficulty. So we're not on hard. I would love to get into hard after we get some experience under our belts. But right now we are on the normal difficulty mode. And like I said, if anybody does happen to join this public session after, after we get through the tutorial, that will increase the difficulty. I can't get through this wall though. I wonder if there's going to be a visual indicator of what I can and cannot break through. Oh shit!
All right, at least they don't react too fast yet. And I am aiming with with the basically the viewer. So wherever we're looking is where we're gonna swing. So if I want to swing up, I can do that. If I want to swing down, I can look down. Very intuitive. Very intuitive melee. Uh, and the game is going to be focused on ranged combat, from what I understand, both close range, ra ranged as in firearms, so close range, mid range, and long range. And then we of course are going to have our melee weapon for a tactical option when the monsters simply get too close. Here they seem to be focusing on orienting us around using the melee weapon, which is probably a good way to start, because a lot of people are going to be familiar with games like this uh, shooting wise. But using a melee weapon might be a little different to some folks, so it's cool that they start the tutorial and they just give us the melee weapon and they force you to use it. I like that a lot. Because melee is actually really cool uh, from what I've seen and experienced so far. Okay, here we go. Let's see if- Oh, we didn't get out of that one. Let's go. Oh, they have uh, friendly fire, so enemies, enemies attacks, they can hit each other, and our attacks can hit our teammates. So you'll see there that... Uh, one of these guys got hit by his buddy behind him, so you can actually kind of stack them up and they will hit each other, which is pretty darn cool if you ask me. Yeah, we'll see how friendly fire works though if we group up, you know. I guess on random mode there's always a chance that you like random with a troll and they just shoot you in the head. I hope that doesn't happen, but we'll see. I think it'll be fun no matter what. Just gotta call out how, how awesome the game looks and how smooth everything is. Okay, this guy is summoning these. That's not good. Whoa! I'm in trouble. We are in trouble. Alright. We are in trouble. We don't have any more uh, blood roots. So we'll have to be very careful from here on out. I feel like I hear gunfire and stuff in the distance. Oh, look at that. Yeah, he's gonna drop down on us. There we go. So if we run and we attack, we do this thrust. And that was actually really cool. But running is gonna take up our stamina. So these guys are gonna come down. Let's do the same thing on the first guy. And get behind this guy. There we go. That's a little better. Uh, yeah, definitely hearing gunfire coming from somewhere. I'm also kind of worried about missing some items and whatnot. I'm not exploring all the way, but let's see what's going on. I've covered all the map. Where is this coming from? Over here somewhere, I believe. Let's check over here first. See if we can find anything. Whatever battle... Oh, oh, we triggered the cutscene. didn't make it but uh yeah that that fight scene was pretty badass no we're not done
Hang in there. Hurry up, be okay. We got company. Move. Move. I don't know what to say about all that, except it was awesome, and now I'm super hyped. That was pretty cool for something that happens literally 10 minutes into the game, and we are slicing up these guys, these roots. You're awake. Just barely hanging on. Just fighting for our lives. It sets a really good tone that we are literally fighting for our lives here. Whoa, take it slow. Some of us aren't going to make it. You got hurt real bad. You don't want to start bleeding again, do you? Um... No, I don't. Where am I? Ward 13. It's safe here. Maybe the only safe place there is. I'm Wallace. I, I wanted to see you. I asked the commander if I could. Good to meet you, Wallace. I'm assuming they dragged us in through the door we were pounding on, so let's find out who the commander is. Oh, Commander Ford. She's in charge. Oh, Commander Ford and Mr. Riggler found you outside. They brought you here. But they said... They said Mark wasn't coming back. Hmm. Mark was, must have been the man outside. Looking at these two, the way that guy looked and the way this kid looked, that could be his father. But he wouldn't call him Mark, I guess. We'll just apologize. But he's... was... Never mind. He was somebody important to you. The commander said you should come see her when you woke up. She's in the room down the hall. She'll find a place for you. Everyone's got a place. All right. See you later. I like that. Everyone's got a place. Even strangers, because it's humanity versus these things, right? Oh, cool. Look at that. We have, like... Oh, that's cool. I didn't realize we had, like, some melee attacks unarmed. That's actually really neat. I hope we never have to use it. Okay. What is this? Journal. We will read uh, the journal. Let's see what we got. December 15th, 1968. Lieutenant Evelyn Cedar, one of only seven survivors to make it off the atoll. We had to abandon Ward 16 and retreat to Central here in Ward 13. Everyone else, they're all dead. Hargar Harsgard, Neville, Green, Parker, Mackenzie, every last one of them is gone. We're the only ones left. The Root invaded Ward 13, too. There are bodies everywhere, Root and human both. Thankfully, the Root left, some, left for some reason. The place is abandoned. The Dreamers are gone. That... that's what the Root came for. I don't know how I know that, but I'm certain of it. The Root and the Dreamers are connected somehow. I can feel it. When the Dreamers were killed, the Root no longer had a reason to stay. Captain Ford, commander now, I guess, says we're holding up here while we figure out our next move. He's fixed the crystal so nothing can follow us from the atoll. And there are only a few physical entrances. It should be defensible for as long as we need it. God, this is a hell of a Hanukkah. <laughs> indeed. Uh, let's see, do we have more? We do, April 15th, uh, 1969. It's been months now, the ward almost feels normal. We cleaned the bodies out, though there are some doors we still can't get into. Commander Ford has us looking for survivors, getting them into the ward. He's a brave man. Smart. Not like the bastards who got us into this mess. Thanks to Ford, we survived the first wave of the Root invasion, which is more than can be said for the rest of the world. The Root didn't just come out of the wards. They attacked all over, all at once. No one was ready. Armies were overwhelmed. France even tried nukes. Nukes on their own land. Then they went quiet. We've lost all communication with anyone. The city's a war zone. We're surviving, but barely. How long can we do this? M May 3rd. I've been having dreams lately. I hear the root. Smell them. Watch them from inside their own heads as they hunt down and slaughter the survivors. When I wake up, I can still feel the their joy, their rage. Sometimes, it takes me a while to remember who I am, where I am. It's freaking me out. Yeah, it doesn't sound good. The root is uh, getting in your head, I think. May 24th. We lost so many people today. Took control of a water tower, though. It'll keep us alive, but I keep wondering if it's worth it. So many died so that we can, what, scrape by until they kill us, too? Commander Ford spoke for the dead, assured us that their sacrifices would not be forgotten. So long as we have breath, he said, we have hope. I wish I could believe that. June 2nd. 
Ran across some old letters and journals from the folks who lived here before. They were full of hope, excitement. Andrew, Commander Ford, caught me reading, but I guess he's been reading them too. He said their hope worried him. It was misguided, he said. Just like we were in Ward 16. Just like I am now. I couldn't help but snort. What the hell did he have to be hopeful for? He laughed when I told him. He actually thinks we'll survive. That we'll come back from this somehow. I thought he was naive, but his hope is what's kept us going, isn't it? It's kept us alive so far. I must have said as much because he smiled and said we were only alive because of people like me, people who caught details he missed and challenged his optimism. He said my cynicism made his optimism more real. I'm laughing again just thinking about it. Of all the things to be worried about, he's worried about having hope? And he thinks I'm keeping us alive? God, what a man. August 12th. Had another root dream last night. This one was different. Real. They were waiting for us, in my dream, near the hotel courtyard where we've been growing food. I told Ford about it. I thought he'd dismiss it. God knows my CEO did that often enough. But he said it was worth checking out. Good thing, too, because they were there, waiting. We fought them off because of my dream. Afterwards, I admitted my other dreams to Ford. Said it had been going on for a while. He wanted me to tell the others, so I told the rest of the seven. We'll see what happens, but I think it was the right call. He's a good man, Andrew. I always knew it, but I... He's a good man. Uh, 15th of August. Okay, but what would it even look like if I hit on the leader of the ward? He doesn't need... <laughs> he doesn't need that right now. We're just trying to survive. Who the hell thinks of dating in a post-apocalyptic hellscape? Well, hey, look. That's part of where hope comes in, right? Hope for the future, relationships, growing humanity, continuing. I think that's totally normal. Screw it, I'm asking him out. That's a good decision. Well, hell, turns out my feelings were mutual. Andrew didn't say anything because he was worried about what a relationship might do to the leadership within the ward. Would it r look like favoritism? Would it affect, the other, f affect how the others saw me? What about when we argued? He started asking a thousand questions until I shut him up. And I realized as I was shutting him up that this was the point. No matter how risky it might be, love is exactly what makes surviving worth the trouble. Besides, we have a goddamn common foe out there. It's not like we'll ever disagree on that. 1971. Holy hell, I forgot about this old thing. Guess you could say I've been distracted. Andrew and I got married last month, and today I'm pregnant. So I kind of picked up we were reading from a female's perspective in the beginning. I haven't uh, told Andrew yet. I want to keep it to myself a little longer. It's hard to believe there's a life inside of me, a new person who didn't exist before. It was Andrew's idea. I thought he was crazy for even bringing it up. Who would raise a child in this creep show of an earth? Him and his damn optimism. But he's right. Children are the only future we have. I don't know what will happen to this little one, or hell, to us, but bringing a child in this world the root are trying to rip away from us feels like rebellion. It feels like hope. And goddamn if that's not exactly what we need right now. Ugh, that's it. So that's January 1st, 1971. I don't know if that's now or if we are beyond that. Uh, but maybe we will find out. And that was a lot of reading in one bulk. I realize that. Uh, some of you might not be into the lore as others. And for that, I apologize. But like I said, I really am going to try to read everything. I am actually finding the writing really well done. Uh, which is not always the case for action games, unfortunately. That was a, actually a joy to read. Um, I see some people here. We can start checking this out. Our greatest strength is one another. So if we approach, we can hit E and, t and talk to him. Poor Wallace. Losing Mark like that. So Wallace is the boy. Mark must have been the man who died outside. We couldn't save him. Someone said Ruta getting in? Don't help the world in the dark. Can't see him coming. It's a good point. I don't know why, but I, I feel like McCabe is always mad at me. I never even talked to her before. Maybe she secretly likes you. Lots of boring locked doors around here. There's probably cool stuff behind them, since you brought it up. If only we could open them. Before it keeps us in the dark, figuratively and literally. Hmm. Look at the old taxi. Wallace Ben not following his brother's footsteps. Oh, it was his brother. Without enough bullets, you end up dead. So that must have been his brother out there. That's why they look similar. It makes sense. Sorry, buddy. Make it in this world without knowing how to aim a rifle. <laughs> McCabe got some fancy. Oh, they have more to say. Back. Got no idea what it does, but I bet it's deadly. If you it interact with them multiple soft. times. You keep being that nice, someone's gonna eat your lunch. 
or eat you for lunch. That's really cool that they have like more to say than just one-liners. I get the feeling you're gonna do something important. Something that makes a difference. We appreciate that. I heard about Les. I wonder if he made it out. Reese is too soft. You uh you keep being that nice. Think the rest of the Someone's world is as bad off as us. Or eat you for lunch. Everyone else seems to think it is. <laughs> you should visit Ace sometime. She's always got new stuff to trade. Ace, okay. Keep that in mind. If we open up our map here, uh, we do have markers for maybe important people or merchants. We could take a look at some things in the character menu here. We don't have any equipment, we just have our adventurer's tunic. All the equipment is going to have resistances. Bleed, fire, rot, radiation. Core, I'm not sure what that is. And shock. Uh, and then it's also going to have armor set bonuses. Increases chance to get loot from destroying breakables. 10% chance uh, for one piece. And then of course we have armor and weight. So weight is going to factor into how quickly and how far we can dodge roll. And we'll talk more about that as it comes into play. Uh, we don't have anything else going on right now. The traits, we're going to get more traits as we level. We're going to be able to put points into the traits. Like right here we can see we'll get... 2.5 plus to stamina if we put a point into endurance and 2.5 to health if we were to put a point into vigor and we'll get to all that no doubt soon enough hey i got my eye on you don't try nothing hey i'm i'm, I'm as cool as they come brother we got nothing it doesn't look like you have anything worth stealing anyway but you know we're all human here he has nothing else to say to me though some people are going to be harder to win over than others, perhaps. I hope you can restore the power soon, stranger. Without light and heat, our weakest won't last long. Am I going to restore power? If we don't have power, it does seem like a good idea to get that going again, if we can. But I do need to find the commander, so... I do want to have a look around. I love these like old style control rooms. Really tells you like what era things must have went went dark in. You know, I love it. All right, I see somebody over here, somewhere. Oh, traveler. Hello. Hey, friend. The actors just through that door and down the stairs. Keep your wits about you. Okay. Keep your wits about you. Yeah. I have this feeling they want us to go uh, turn on the reactor, but I would love to talk to the commander before we do that. That seems kind of important. But it's nicer than the place they're hoping us right away. I notice that if I tap shift, it, I'll continuously run until I tap it again, I don't. When I'm in this area, I don't have to hold it in to sprint. And if I stop moving, it'll obviously stop draining my my endurance. Let's go up here. I haven't been able to look loot any of the lockers, so maybe there's nothing here right now for us to loot. Here's where we started, right? Yeah, this is back where we started. So we're probably looking around up here somewhere for the commander. Maybe right down here, actually, where they said right down the hall, right? Okay, here we go. Well, well, look who's awake. You put up quite a fight outside our gates. Uh, let's see. Well, I'm not too worried about the weapon here because everybody has been friendly, but who are you? I'm Commander Ford. This is my base, oh, and okay. you, friend, are an unexpected guest. It's my job to know the kind of people I bring into Ward 13. We haven't seen a living soul on that shore for weeks. You will tell me why you were really out there, or we'll let the root have you. Um, geez, okay, well everyone was nice until now. Uh, well, we're trying to get to that island tower to rescue, uh, to find out what became of the hero. Maybe we won't tell her that hmm. part, but... 
No one has been in that tower in a very long time. But you've got no chance of getting there in this storm. Fair the enough. Truth is, the ward has been cut off. We had to block the gates after we dragged you in. The root are everywhere. But now that you're here, I have an idea. I'll tell you what. You want to leave? You'll have to do something for us first. I have a feeling that we're going to be turning the generator or the lights back on in this place. But first, yeah. we need power. Mm -hmm. That storm knocked out our reactor recently. So we've heard. With enough power, we might be able to activate another way out of here. And we know where the reactor is. What's the other way out? It's not a door, exactly. And it may not even work. The reactor is on the lower basement it's not level. not a door, There's exactly. There's a stairwell that leads down to it. Get it running, then come back here. Some kind of elevator. Why trust me with this? Because I'm not losing any more of my people today. Oh. We already lost a man down there a few days ago. I suspect the root have found a way in. Makes complete sense. Go check sense. in with Riggs about your blade. I don't imagine your fists will do much against the root. I don't want to find out. You do this for us, and I'll make sure you get out of here. All right. So yeah, let's go. Uh, we gotta find rigs. It would be nice to have some kind of weapon. Because I certainly don't want to face the root with my fists. And with no healing items. Also not ideal. Well, not a soul here who ain't hurting with folk they've lost. I believe that. Which one of you is Riggs? It's pro is it you? You don't like me. Nope, you still don't like me very much. I just try to stay out of the way. Nope. It's hard to know who's who in the dark. Oh. I can never seem to get warm enough. Yeah, things are not great the around here. Ain't enough to keep this place safe. Huh, Ruth can come from anywhere. Oh, they move around and like take up different positions and stuff? Like she just walked from over here and now she's chilling over here with this guy. Alright, you keep going out there. The Wii's gonna get you real quick. I love it. Oh, we're in deep trouble here. The others just don't know it. Yet. I know Mark didn't actually die. Ford is hiding something. What? Be ready and stay vigilant. There's a different kind of storm coming. Is this guy just crazy? I know Mark didn't actually die. Or is this real? Ford is hiding something. Jeez. Seems... You know, uh, I dire. enjoy visiting Reggie. <laughs> he carries smiles for everyone. All right. Still no weapons. Look at this like portal stone here. Oh, this is what she's talking about. It's this not a like door. It important. Once. It's not a door exactly. It's a portal. Okay, cool. So we need power so we can activate that thing. Oh jeez, look at that. Punch all the boxes. And since we have that 10% chance or whatever to find loot, I guess that helps us find more loot. Uh, that one armor set bonus. Uh, there is crafting in this game, so we're going to be doing crafting, obviously. We're finding lots of scrap. That's going to be a lot of fun to get into. Oh, traveler. Keep your wits about you. All right. Keep your wits about you. I could I do that better with some weapons. But uh nobody here seems too inclined to to give me any. What's this? Control level 1 reactor basement 1. So that's where we're headed, I'm assuming. Basement 1, which is right down here. Now, I'm not sure if since we're out of the tutorial, this area down here begins one of the pre-generated areas, or if since this is all story zone, if it's all going to be the same. That, I don't know. Where are you? Okay. Someone's ahead. Me and yeah, if I didn't say it, which I don't think I did, I haven't played anywhere near this far. I just played the beginning couple encounters to get used to the melee swing, so everything that we're seeing, all the cutscenes and stuff, this is all going to be new to me as we go. Okay. What? Where the hell did 
did you come from? You nearly scared the life out of me. No one else wandering around down here. Uh, you're not from around here, are you? No. Name's Ace. Ace Cotterell? You? Oh, uh, what are you doing down here? Are you also trying to get the power Looking back on? Looking for my friend, Les. He said he was coming down here to fix a few things. That was days ago. No one's seen him since. Everyone else wrote him off, but not me. I think maybe he... You know. Got eaten by the root? I don't know. I mean, if he hasn't been back in a few days, he could have got lost in the dark. They're saying it's very dark here. I have, I have the gamma turned up a little bit because I know YouTube darkens things. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Come to think of it, that's probably what he tried to do. Anyway, I'm, I'm sure he found some quiet place to sit things out, you know? He'll turn up. So, you ever start a reactor? Not at all. Well, it makes a lot of noise, for starters. Lucky Good. for you, it's just the press of a button on the terminal above us. If it's that I've done easy. I've it myself, but without knowing what might come sniffing around. With the two of us, though, maybe we got a chance. Okay, hey, maybe. so I have an idea. You go upstairs and start the reactor. I'll help you kill whatever comes our way. You probably need a weapon, huh? Yeah. Let's see if I can find I, I, I do, now that you mention it. Okay, so, right, there are three archetypes in the game. And I guess this is where we're going to select them. So let's take a look at all of them. The Hunter. The Hunter specializes in long-range combat, armed with an ultra-precise hunting rifle, sturdy repeater pistol, and versatile scrap sword. The Hunter excels at taking out targets before they get close. Their mod, Hunter's Mark, marks enemies, allowing the Hunter and their teammates to see targets through walls. That is cool. It also increases critical hit chance against marked targets. The Ex-Cultist. The Ex-Cultist specializes in mid-range combat and support, armed with the powerful Coach Gun, Sturdy Repeater Pistol, and Deadly Scrap Hatchet. The Ex-Cultist controls the mid-range with excellent burst damage. Their mod, Mender's Aura, casts an area effect heal that gradually restores health for all teammates. I like that a lot. The Scrapper. The Scrapper specializes in close range combat and melee damage. Armed with a devastating shotgun, sturdy repeater pistol, and massive scrap hammer, the Scrapper is at their best when close to their enemy. Their mod, Hotshot, imbues their ammunition with fire, giving it a chance to set enemies on fire. This seems really cool too. Um, this would get us much closer to enemies. We'd be doing melee damage probably a lot more. We'd be heavily armored though. I like the concept of that. I think I'm going to go with the Ex-Cultist though. I like the mid-range. The mid-range is where I feel pretty comfortable. And we'll probably still see some melee that way. And then we have Mender's Aura, which is going to be that area of effect heal that's just going to gradually restore us if we stand in it. That Having a heal like that... Uh, an ability that can heal us is probably going to be crucial while we're learning the game and this guy just looks so awesome I, I think I think we're going to go with X cultist for this uh, for this run and I, eventually when we get to a certain point we can equip other weapons and other armor so we're not locked into this class that we picked this is just the archetype that we're going to start with eventually if we wanted to move uh, into more of like a hunter build for long range or if we wanted to move towards a close range we could still do that with the same character this is just what it's going to load us out with the start and our some of our basic traits i believe there that should improve our odds get up there and start the reactor <laughs> okay look at that so we have our scrap hatchet ah! let's check out our equipment uh we have our handgun the repeater pistol we have the coach gun, so the coach gun is going to be our mid-range main go-to weapon. I'm assuming 102 damage, 2.5 rounds a second. The magazine only carries two shots before reload. Pretty accurate. Get up there and start the reactor. Eight meter range, max ammo is 26. Mag magazine size 13. Uh, max ideal range 18 meters. So this is the repeater pistol is going to be a longer range. Obviously, the damage is not comparable. We can equip mods. We don't have any mods to equip right now, so. And we don't have any other gear, so we're still wearing the same gear. We just got some weapons. Okay, we can switch 
pretty easily by toggling the middle mouse scroll to switch between our weapons. That's going to be really important. If we hit the left mouse, we're still just going to... If we drop our weapon and swing, we can swing pretty easily. Uh, and what I do know is that the reload is not cancelled by the roll. So if we go to reload and we roll, we're actually going to keep reloading while we're in those invincibility frames, which I think is pretty darn good. Okay, so we are going up to press the button on the reactor, and she said she's going to kill everything that comes. I doubt that's going to be the case, but we'll see. I'm going to try to be pretty thorough. I don't know how many secrets or items are spread in these environments. Especially the beginning ones. I'm sure there will probably be more as we progress through the game, but I do kind of just want to give a look around and make sure we're not missing anything obvious before we head up. It doesn't look like it. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Aha, we have to remember, we can bust up crates and we will find stuff. So, gotta keep an eye out for crates. Here we go. And now that I say that, I probably ran by like 30 crates down here. Didn't I? No. I'm not seeing any. Ah! Crates? Any crates? Anybody? Anybody a crate in here? No? Okay, can we destroy this? No. Uh, I got... I sure yeah. got something from doing that. What in the world? Huh. I, I got some scrap out of hitting yeah. one of those things. The shelf, I think. How commonplace is that going to be? Very interesting. Okay, we're up here. There's a flashing thing. I'm assuming that's going to be the button that we need to press. Um, and then it's probably going to be, you know, action time as soon as we do this. Axum Series 980 CPU. <laughs> so you could tell, this is like 80s technology, it almost looks like. Warning, unauthorized use of this terminal is prohibited. Refer to operational protocols before proceeding. Okay, um, what about the fault logs? Minor fault, system running below optimal threshold, high drain rate reported from sector 1A, ward 16. Prototype OA246 phase test in progress. Temperature levels 3.32 higher than normal, cooling protocol initiated. Coil feedback detected. I wonder if these are like important at all, but it's cool that they exist. Coolant flow malfunction detected in outflow valve F3 and F4. Emergency power down sequence initiated by administrator. Time to reboot approximately 34 minutes. Errant seismic activity compromised lower coolant array. Something's happening. Fluctuation in core storage banks cause unknown. Performance compromise. Output down 15%. Yeah, something seismic activity. Something occurred to stop this thing from running. Comprehensive system failure. Compensation detected inside component framework. Shifting to emergency standby protocols. Repeat of errant seismic activity has once again compromised key reactor components. What's going on down there in the def in defense research? What indeed? Multiple systems irreparably damaged, cause unknown, requisite operational functions offline, powering down central core, or emergency power systems activated. Okay, and that's it. Coolant pumps fail, moderator failed, pressure system failed, control routes failed, everything's failing. Should we really be powering this thing on? Oh well, let's do it. Alright, get ready for guests. Yeah, yeah sure, we're ready, right? Whoa! Oh, really good shot there. So they are weak. They're, they have weaknesses, obviously. Uh, head headshots for these guys. Well, that was a sweet dodge you just did. Oh, they're coming. They're flanking us. They're flanking us. They love to flank you. If you're not careful, they will flank the crap out of you. Uh, if you're seeing red, red is a headshot. The numbers, white is a normal hit. 
And a yellow is a crit. You really have to listen. And you'll you'll be able to hear them. That's it. Oh shit, he's out of ammo. Oh! <laughs> Okay, let's loot. Is that all you got? How many of these guys is it gonna spawn at us exactly? We got him on all sides. Whoa, something blew up. What was that? Okay, this guy is a little tougher than the other guys, I think. Whoa. That might have been an elite. That that might have been an elite. 43 scrap? Yeah, probably. They're still down there. I think they're attacking her. Let's collect all this stuff that we've got up here. I guess we need to head down there and clean up now. Oh, oh she, she's got it. Watch out! Oh, nice. I love it. I love it. Look at that shot, back to back. I'm psyched. <sighs> there. That should do it. Yeah, we did it. You fought good. Real good. Ford made the right choice sending you down here. You best go check in with Ford. Come visit my shop sometime, yeah? I'll make sure to give you the good in a fight discount. Nice. Okay, cool. Cool. I hope, they, I hope that you sell consumables. So that we can uh, heal up. That'd be nice. All right, so we got this thing going. Uh, yeah, that was a heck of a fight, and you really do have to listen because you will hear the enemies as they flank you directionally, and that's a lot of times what keys you off to like incoming swings and attacks. And then usually it's safe to roll and then check your flanks. And that one guy we came up against was an elite. He was much beefier than the other guys. And I think on his own he dropped like 43 scrap, which seemed like a high amount for one guy to drop. Um, from here we are headed out, I guess. I think we've collected everything. Oh, there she is still. She's actually walking out. She didn't just v do the NPC vanish. I'll see you later. She's actually walking back. Great work with the reactor, friend. Very cool. You make a good team. You never know. Uh, sure Less may good turn up. Some light around here. Look at the guy's leg. I didn't see that before. You're risking a lot for folks you don't know, stranger. Ah, uh, well... We have an important mission, and it kind of involves saving all of humanity, if you didn't know. Ah, uh, yes. You're trying to get yourself to that little island, yeah? Word moves fast, when there ain't many words left around here. Listen, friend, uh... I know you don't know me from a can of paint, but... <laughs> I want to help. You, uh, you got a feeling of destiny about you. <laughs> You're going to save the world, ain't you? You're damn straight we are. That's the spirit. Uh, You're damn straight. Here. I want you to have this. Not many people Dragon hearts. The okay, out there the yes, world. dragon hearts. An old friend told me this little bobble could keep you for death at bay. At least for a while. And if you're looking to buy other treasures for your travels, definitely come see me. Ace has got her own space over there. <laughs> Between us, we got all sorts of treasures. Okay. But that stone there, free of charge. Thank Take you. Good care of it. We really appreciate it. Oh, one more thing, Eleanor, uh, <laughs> Commander Ford. She knows more about that island than she lets on. Hmm. Uh, 
Ask her about the founder of War 13. She'll get you on your path. Okay. <laughs> Good to see a new face around here. So, the Dragon Heart. The Dragon Heart can be used to replenish lost health. There are a limited number of uses before its power is depleted. Dragon Heart charges are replenished after resting at a checkpoint or dying. Press Q to use the Dragon Heart. So, obviously, if you're familiar with Dark Souls or any of the Soulsborne games, it's your Estus Flask, right? So, that's really cool. We start with three charges. I'm assuming eventually we'll be able to have more charges. We can see the icon for the Dragon Heart next to the icon of our rifle, to the left of our rifle icon there in the bottom right. Uh, we see that we have three. The hell of a time to visit the ward, friend. Pick the right time. Now let's check out what this guy has for sale. <laughs> if we can. Why don't you go? Yeah, we can't. Uh, she she want to thank you herself. I guess we can't browse his shop yet. What about her? You never know. Yeah. Less may turn up. Maybe just too early to be browsing the shops. I think this might be a good place to take a break. This is probably going to end up being a little bit of a long episode. I'll try to keep them to the standard 30 minutes or so going forward. But yeah, I'm having a ton of fun with this and I'm really excited to get in deeper and to get out of the War 13 here and see what awaits us in the world beyond. And who knows, maybe we'll have a guest pop in at some point. We do have the profile for the game set to public so somebody could tag along. And the way the multiplayer works Whoever is hosting, it's their campaign progress that gets pushed forward. So if someone were to join our session, we would be sticking with our campaign progress. And the player who joins that session, it doesn't push their campaign forward, but they get to keep all the items and advancements that they make while playing, obviously. So it could be a lot of fun. We'll see if we end up getting into that at all. But yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying it. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And uh, we'll see you again with this real soon. Take care and wish me luck.